All right, guys, uh, back with a video today, which is a bit of a fundraiser in the sense that uh, you make your own mind up. Um, this is coming from uh, Richard Cook. Uh, I've been talking to him for the last week on Facebook and stuff related to his daughter because she's in quite a bad way in the Philippines. Um, now, one of the things I will say is don't get in contact with him just to say, oh, well, you should have known better. This stuff is stuff you cannot plan it, plan with. There's a lot of stuff that goes on, quite simply, you cannot predict, and this is one of those. He's only just gone to the Philippines, setting himself up for a new life, and then his daughter's eyes started dropping, took antibiotics, and it's just rolled from there to the point that they're needing MRI scans, CT scans, all sorts of expensive um, medical assistance to get them, well, to even get it diagnosed is a problem right now. Now this fundraiser, as you can see, they've already raised $2,375 and I'll tell you now, um, this is going to cost a lot more than that. Um, myself, um, I've tried contacting a few people that I know and this is the main reason I'm putting this out here. Beyond uh, letting people know if they want to donate, that's purely up to yourself, but also um, he's not in my area in the sense that I have people and friends in Cebu that may be able to help but he's a bit too far north for me. Um, he's in Manila. Now if you have medical staff, friends, family, whatever, you may be able to help in some other way. Um, if you know how the medical system works you'll understand what I'm talking about. But all I can say is get in touch uh, with Richard on Facebook. Uh, you can message me directly and I'll pass you Richard's Facebook. Um, but no, well, you can email them directly here actually um, but the, the point is the, he doesn't need anybody creating more issues this is very important this is about saving a little girl's life and that's why I thought it's important to get this out there today um, which has also sent me another video with some information relating to other, other information relating to his daughter's um, well, costs, medical, what's been going on so far, etc. But I really just wanted to get this out there here today. And is it a case that he's just expecting everybody to pay for it? The answer is no. He's actually going to go back to the US, but right now he's been caught in limbo uh, in the sense that he needs to earn more money, but at the same time he can be looking after his daughter and going back to the US at the same time. So it, it's a difficult situation to be in. And it's one of those ones you can't predict. I'll be honest with you, there's some things you can prepare for and some things you can't. This is one of those things that it, it's a very difficult one to be prepared for um, because quite simply, it's unexpected in the early years, you know. But anyway, thanks for watching.